Hi, I am Udayan Bose. Uh, I am the founder and CEO of uh, NetEdX Incorporation. We are a Princeton, New Jersey based uh, online advertising optimization and management company. Uh, we have uh, our back office operations and a wholly owned subsidiary in Hyderabad, India, and our sales offices in uh, Denmark, in Copenhagen, and in Germany, in Freiburg. Uh, I am a first generation entrepreneur and I started on this wonderful entrepreneurial journey in the year 2004, in the month of January. I guess the date was 26th of January. Uh, prior to starting NetElixir, I was, uh, I founded Party Bingo Business for a company called Party Gaming or iGlobal Media. Uh, I'm basically an IIT uh, Delhi chemical engineer uh, and uh, born, and brought, born in Calcutta, brought up in Jaipur, Rajasthan. Yeah, I live in Princeton, New Jersey. Uh, with my wife Tulika, who co-founded the company along with me in 2004, and our five-year-old son Uddipto. That's pretty much about me. Let me try to share with you a few nuggets from my entrepreneurial journey. Uh, I hope it is useful to people who are budding entrepreneurs, who maybe have not really given entrepreneurship a huge thought, but hopefully I'll be able to excite them to get into the exciting world and a phenomenal journey that I have been going through for the past about four, four and a half years now. I wanted to share with you as to how I started on this entrepreneurship journey. Uh, well, NetElix didn't really start all of a sudden. It probably sort of culminated over a period of time. Certain ideas, certain inspiration, certain level or dosage of enthusiasm, if you may which I sort of get got subjected to. Otherwise, how would you even expect or imagine maybe the first generation entrepreneur and that to a middle class Bengali family whose family has never ever done anything on entrepreneurship getting into this. Now that was that was what where I started from. My schooling was from St. Xavier School, Jaipur, again a very conventional school. Went into IIT Delhi and at IIT Delhi uh, there is one particular incident which I think I distinctly remember. Uh, we had in 1993-94 this academic conference called the TRIST. Uh, it happens every year and this time the chief guest was a Supreme Court judge. He posed all our IIT, I mean IIT colleagues, one simple fundamental question. What is, you call yourself, you claim to be the brain bank of India. What is that one particular thing that you think you would be able to contribute if you join a probably a cushy job which pays you maybe a few lakhs. Those days probably even 10, 12,000 rupees back in 94 was a pretty decent amount. What exactly do you want to do? Don't you think it is your responsibility to contribute to the society? I don't know. The, the way that he sort of expressed it is still very, very vivid in my mind and it has been about 14 years since that, 15 years since that incident happened. Uh, I typically started with a cushy job. So I sort of abbreviated. I didn't really sort of follow in that thing, as, well, as did all of my colleagues. My first thing was with Lupin and then got into the typical MBA mode, did the MBA, had a nice job, and then was posted at some point in time with Godrej. Godrej is an extremely sort of employee-friendly company. So I had a very, very nice lifestyle. I was the area sales manager for Orissa. And while I was in Orissa in Bhubaneswar, again, there was one incident which specifically I can probably attribute has somehow impacted my psyche which finally sort of got into uh, getting into entrepreneurship. Uh, there was a super cyclone in 1999 in Odisha. I think 28th October was the date to be very precise. Uh, when the cyclone abated around 30th of November, uh, 30th of October uh, and flight started off on the 1st, I still remember being there in the airport on the 1st day, I reached there at about 6 o'clock. Till about 11 at night, three, four flights had come and gone. People were bribing their way through. And I suddenly see this gentleman, probably at about 80, 85 years of age. He is there in a wheelchair. And he said that he was in sort of broken Bengali because he was barely able to speak, uh, that uh, he was going to Calcutta to get a heart checkup. Now, people wouldn't really let him in because he had a regular ticket. I mean, he couldn't really bribe his way through. He could barely speak. And I saw very clearly in front of me how people, how people could actually become animals. And that is something which had a very profound impact on me as such. 
because no one was speaking up no one was even bothering to look at this individual everyone was just thinking about me myself how can i defend how can i escape bhuvaneshwar because i would be sort of hit at that point in time I, i can't really attribute to what happened but something happened which made me to speak up i just got on the ticket counter which is there and said that if there is any person who sort of goes into this flight it is this gentleman otherwise the person will have to literally go through over my dead body now that was a pretty strong statement and thankfully there was one airlines gentleman who intervened and the gentleman was able to go through that again proved one thing in india also people don't raise voices and if they do for a right cause people are willing to sort of support that that's again a very very important statement that somehow i feel again maybe had an impact in my getting into entrepreneurship well godrej was a cushy job after that i got into uh, a venture with my friends in party gaming it was a extremely high paying salary by those standards uh, uh, 2002 2003 it probably was maybe in the top 1% of the entire indian market in the, i mean as high as way i had a beautiful wife tulika who was and the, there was a kid we just had a newborn baby in april 2003 and suddenly all of a sudden in november i think 2003 there was this huge pang that i have to start something of my own I, it was al- almost like that that feeling that you have is sort of it eats you up and then you sort of i i all of a sudden i decided with tulika and probably i didn't really even decide i didn't really even discuss with tulika i just decided on myself and jumped into entrepreneurship and dragged her along and our baby at that point in time was about 8 months old now the interesting part is i didn't really have any contacts in us i wanted to do business in us i had a baby who was 8 months old tulika was not working and i was leaving a job which was paying me extremely well now such circumstance it was obvious for the society to brand me as an absolute fool so i guess this is what i gave, was pretty much my entry into entrepreneurship now i have a question for you a dilemma if you may there are three three things which i have mentioned which impacted somehow my getting into entrepreneurship directly or indirectly first one the supreme court judge in iit the second one was the super cyclone which came in odisha and i how i saw the people turning into animals and the third one which probably indirectly i mean leaving a cushy job suddenly off there has to be a certain motivation at that point in time we sort of leaves you such a plush life and get into this thing now my question to you is what is that you feel is the single most important factor which impacted me which forced my entry into entrepreneurship in january 26 2004